This week's workout is with Ron Benson and Steve Webster. We're going to show you mass building exercises. We're going to start off with chest today. We're going to do some shoulders and of course you guys want those wonderful lovely big arms. So we're going to show you the workout today. We'll be right back. Hi, Tracy Hester's own Diddy Tone. I am here with Ron Benson, 2006 Master National competitor, and of course new to the NPC Steve, Steve Webster. These big guys today are going to show you guys a mass chest building workout today. And we're going to start off today with the incline Smith machine. Okay, Ron, why is this exercise so important to build mass for most men, of course women too? To help the development in the upper chest area, because the chest is divided into three areas. You don't want weakness in the upper or the lower or the middle. So this this will concentrate from the collarbone into the center of the pec area. Absolutely, and that's one of the exercises we mostly miss. A lot of you guys like to do the flat bench presses, so you want to maybe start off with the incline presses. Okay, guys, you ready to show your stuff? Okay, and as you can see, Ron's going to demonstrate here. Steve's behind him. He's going to spot him on the exercise. And as you see his form, it's underneath his chin but before his chest. So you always want to make sure that it's lined up properly according to you. Everybody's a different size. Awesome, Ron. And you see as he's coming to the top, he's not locking out his elbows. He's keeping his elbows pretty soft. How you doing, it, Ron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you breathing? Yes, sir. <laughs> and don't forget to exhale and exertion at the top. Great form. And see how he's tight with the movement? Awesome, Ron. Beautiful. You see how the upper chest starts to get pumped? Good work. And how many reps should someone start off with on if they're new to doing the incline um, Smith machines? Usually about eight to ten. Eight to ten reps is pretty good. Anything less than that changes a different style of workout. For bodybuilding, usually eight to ten reps. Absolutely, and I thank you guys for sending in that info, uh, uh, asking us to do the chest workout today with these guys. So we're going to move on next to the incline uh, fly machine, and we're going to show you another exercise for the chest. Be right back. Okay, our next exercise we're going to target is going to the incline dumbbell fly. This is a really, really important movement for the out, outer part of the pecs. Why is this movement so important, Ron? <laughs> well, you can lack development on the outside and on the inner part of the pec. But a stretch stretches the outside, the top, puts pressure on the inside. You your nice full roundness in the upper part of the pec area. It's continuation from the incline press. Absolutely, it gets rid of all that new skin. All right the loose flat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Steve's going to demonstrate the incline fly machine with the dumbbells. And as you can see, he's keeping the arms really rounded like giving a hug, reaching for the ceiling. And you want to always control your opening. Great form, good stretch in the opening. Always make sure you don't go out too far because then you incorporate your shoulders. And that's where most people get, uh, most of you guys or girls get injured. Nice straight form, take your time, keep the chest nice and tight on the opening, good stretch and squeeze the chest when you come back to the top. Another very reason of this exercise is you don't have to bring it all the way together. You can stop halfway and keeps all the tension on the inner chest as well. How you doing, Steve? You're good. <laughs> you breathing? Oh yeah. He's a good model. Big stretch. And again, how many reps should one try to do, Ron? Same thing, eight to 12 reps. Eight to 12 reps on your incline flies, beautiful. And keep the weight comfortable? Moderate weight. Moderate weight, not too heavy when you're struggling. You want to messing up your shoulders. Beautiful, excellent, I love it. <laughs> Great form. Here you are, there's the incline fly movement. The next movement we're gonna to go to, which is really important, you guys will like this, we're gonna go into a flat bench movement at this point. So we're gonna use a flat bench machine for our next exercise. We'll be right back. Our third movement, of course, we're going to go to the flat bench movement, and Ron's going to demonstrate how to do this exercise. Okay, Ron, let's do this. Okay, we're going to roll back. Make sure you always watch your head when you roll back. Don't hit your head on the bar. <laughs> okay, and you see with the arm width where Ron's arms are. You see the two lines on your bench bar? Some people like the pinky pinky so they get a nice even grip, nice and wide. Okay, behind you, buddy, you can lift it off. Always make sure you have a spotter behind you when you're doing these exercises. As you see, he's coming almost not even six inches off his chest, and he's keeping the form very tight. He's standing right there on the chest and he's driving it to the ceiling. Again, as you see, he's not locking out his elbow. This is very, very important when you're doing your flat bench presses. Beautiful on. Good stretch at the top. Awesome, keep it nice and tight. And you see how his form is. He's not rocking forward, he's not rocking in front, he's standing right on top of his chest. Beautiful. <laughs> You're probably saying, I can't do all this. It just gets easier. Beautiful. That's why you need a partner, someone there to always can grab the bar in case you fail and you don't get hurt. You can bring the bar back without stretching out your arms. That is excellent, excellent work. All right, Ron. You guys are all right. 
We're gonna do the last exercise, guys, that no one knows about. This is a new exercise called a champagne press. So we're gonna show you that exercise next. And our last exercise is what we call a champagne press. This is a very unique exercise, so pay attention to the form and how they actually move the weight. See is gonna demonstrate this one. Okay. Roll this back. See how he's keeping it tight? That's why we call it the champagne press. Okay. This is very difficult, guys. You're gonna keep your elbows really tight to the rib cage, and you're gonna push, and he's using more of that upper pec and then the center pecs at the same time. Okay, he's squeezing. Beautiful bag. And again, you want a nice spotter near you in case you fail on this exercise. Also, start off with light weights and you can work your way up. Beautiful. Nice and tight. Breathing, hun. <laughs> Squeeze. Awesome. And you can see how the chest is changing at the top. I can push it up to the top. Great job, baby. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that was called the champagne press. So you saw the incline. You saw the dumbbell flies. We did a flat bench, and then we ended with the champagne press. The next workout, we'll show you with another couple weeks. You'll see another chest workout. So zone in to zone to be toned. Guys, thank you. Good work. Love it. Nice work. <laughs> Steve Webster, Ron Benson, Tracy Hess, zone to be toned.